All right, hello, it is time for another vault. Uh, I know that in the last vault video, I said that I was gonna make a bunch of videos, but I literally got sick the day, the next day that I was gonna start uploading videos and like start recording and stuff. So now I am starting to finally feel better. I'm not all as congested as I was and stuff. Um, so hopefully this is the week that we get to start actually uploading again. I got a lot of catching up to do, but I just wanted to update you guys with that and let you know. Um, it looks like we get a very, very, very minor upgrade in a ring. I don't even know if I'm going to take this because I think I would rather just make progress towards getting a socket. So we're just going to take the uh, tokens and call it a loss on the, the DK. Unfortunately, I didn't get a very high key done. I think I only did like a 12 or something on my DK. All. I still need to work on it. Uh, but everything else has, my Demon Hunter has like a full vault of like decent-ish keys, like 17s to 19s or something. And then all my healers, I only got one key done on all of them because I just didn't have time throughout the week being sick and stuff. But I did get a 20 done on every single healer. So um, it's going to be another one of those weeks just like last week where we're just kind of hoping that that one item that we get is something that we want. But this time we do have all 20s done rather than like 18s to 20s. Um, so there is a higher chance of that 421 item being something really nice. And the Demon Hunter from the update from last week, I did end up getting the Windscar Whetstone pretty quickly after making that vault video. I got it on my 33rd try of Court of Stars, so we now have it. I'm still working on upgrading it, but even at low item level, like I got it at a plus two, so it was like a 376 item level trinket or something, and it still does like 6% of my damage overall and stuff in most keys, so it's pretty wild. Let's see what we get. We get a chess piece, which is I think an item that we passed up on last week, so it looks like... I think what we do is we take the chess piece um, and we just turn this into a tier piece. Um, or we can even keep it at what it is with crit haste on it. That's totally fine since we have our uh, four piece already. So I'm just going to take the chess piece and then we can just upgrade that basically from our current chess piece. So I'll just equip that for now just so I don't forget about it. And we get a 19 hauls. What are the affixes this week? I didn't even look. We have a Voker, which my Voker could use a ton of upgrades, so hopefully we get something good with the plus 20 that we got done. on devastation just in case we get a nice trinket and we get bracers uh, which are just a flat upgrade from these crafted bracers that we have so we will take those won't have to upgrade our crafted bracers cool cool and we'll just equip those so i don't forget to enchant them later and that brings the evoker up to 409 we're really close to uh 410 on the evoker so that's nice Definitely has gone a long way from being the most undergeared character to decently geared now, so pretty happy about that. I think it still might be my least geared character, though. It, it may be my paladin, though. I'm trying to think of which other characters are undergeared. It would definitely be between my paladin, evoker, and shaman. But I'm pretty sure my paladin's less geared than the shaman, so we'll see. Logging into the Paladin right now. So my Paladin is also 409. It's slightly higher than the Evoker, but not by, like, literally by a fraction. And we get a Haste Verse Shield, which does not have Avoidance on it. And I'm pretty sure Avoidance is worth more item level than what this gives us, than 3. But these are better stats, so I'm just going to take this shield. So we will just take the shield, and that should bump us up to 410. Oh, it's so close. Darn. wonder, can I upgrade stuff soon? Need four more of the purple rocks, and then I can upgrade, like, my trinket. 
or I can make, I'm probably going to make a weapon actually, like a 418 weapon. So that would definitely bump us up to 410. All right. Now we go on the shaman and we'll check. So now we have evoker at 409, paladin at 409. Shaman is also somewhere around there. I don't know exactly. Um, if I have to guess, I'm going to say 411 is my paladin. Or my, not my paladin, my shaman, sorry. Believe my shaman is 411 eye level. Four eleven. We guessed it right. Look at that. And I really hope I get a trinket. I really want new trinkets on my my uh, shaman or a chess piece. I still have a blue chess piece, dude. Okay, can't complain about that. Leeches. We're getting rid of the leech, but we can just turn these uh, into whatever the raid equivalent of the boots are, and we'll get probably better stats. So it's just a flat eye level upgrade. But look at the look. I'm four eleven eye level. With this chess piece on, with a 366 chess piece. I'm pretty sure I bought this like out of the auction house. When this character hit 70. So yeah, uh, 412 eye level now with a blue on. That's definitely something. And next up we have the priest. Getting into my more played characters, I've been I've been enjoying Discipline Priest so much in Keys. It's super super fun. I love Priest in general. It's just it's really I don't know. It's just a very fun class to play in M plus, especially with all the buffs they gave it and stuff to make it actually like be able to heal five man content properly. So I've been enjoying playing it a lot. But yeah, we got to check the affixes this week. I didn't even look at the affixes. check the affixes first and then we will take a look at our eye level and what we get out of the vault so affixes this week are raging quaking and fortified not terrible but not the most fun but it's definitely not bad it's not a bad week no, we get another Infernal Writ. It is an upgrade, though, so I'm not going to complain about it. Like, it, it is... Infernal Writ's an awesome trinket to have as disc. Um, it's just... I already have a 415 one, so it would have been better to get, like, a feather, but that's okay. It's still a reasonable upgrade. Still gives us a bit more intellect and a lot more crit, so... And we're at 408. Oh, okay, so my Priest is actually the most undergeared character. That's very interesting. I've been playing my Priest a bunch, so I must have just, uh, I don't know. Maybe I just haven't gotten a lot of Valor. I think that's what it is, like, over the course of the season. Oh, and I still have these 372 gloves. Oh, my gosh, there's no way. That's actually insane. I do have a Concentrated Primal Infusion, so I need to use this today. That would pretty much get me ahead if I get, like, gloves or I upgrade this belt. I don't think I'm going to make gloves, though, because I'm pretty sure the tier gloves are like haste first or something. I don't remember. I'll have to check. But maybe that's what I end up doing is just crafting gloves. I don't know. We'll take a look at it later. But that's very interesting. I've been playing my priest a whole bunch, and it's my now it's my most undergeared character. So I think I just did a lot of catch up on my paladin and my evoker over the last like week or two. I've been playing them a bunch um, in the keys that I've been doing just to try to get them upgrades and stuff. They were falling quite a bit behind. And then next up, we got the Druid, which last week, I believe I got a weapon, a 421 weapon. Uh, so we replaced my crafted weapon. And then now what I'm mainly looking for, I believe, is Trinket still. I want to kind of like just get rid of these because like the Incarnate Icon isn't very good for pugging because a lot of other people don't usually have the Incarnate Icon on, so replacing this with, like, a Rage Feather or something would be absolutely huge. But we're not going to get that. We do get a belt with a socket in it still, so that's a really big upgrade. Um, lots of eye level. And then... And then 
I don't need to get rid of the Shadow Gem. It's mainly just the Incarnate Icon I'd rather replace because I'm not going to be able to get it on Mythic either, I don't think. Um, unless I go in there and like pug it. Uh, but we're at 416 eye level, still have some upgrades to do, and then we just pretty much replace the trinkets at this point. Everything else is 418 or higher almost, and I can upgrade these gloves to 418. So it's literally just this ring and these two trinkets, and everything else is like about as good as it's going to get for the remainder of the season. So Druid's looking pretty nice. And then lastly, we have the Mistweaver Monk, which unfortunately we're not going to have a Mythic Vault or anything because uh, my guild is extending, which is totally fine. I think that's the definitely the play. It's not like I want to re-clear a bunch, but there are a lot of upgrades I can still get out of the raid, but we just get those after we kill uh, Mythic Razageth, and then we have time to go back and get those upgrades so that I can um, have those items for M+, and whatnot. But until then, I think we're basically looking to upgrade those items uh, for the most part. So my trinkets are good because I also have a shadow gem that I use and I, I just need to upgrade the shadow gem. But I also have like Broodkeeper's Promise, the Mythic Chill Globe, um, and I need to upgrade this Flaring Cowl. So mainly like a weapon would be nice because I was basically waiting to get the one-handed weapon off of Dathia, but now that's not going to happen for a little while, so maybe just getting a weapon would be nice. Um, okay, so we get the ring, which is a, definitely a good ring, but I already have two good rings with the, the fire ring. And we just have a heroic vault, so this is not super ideal. Technically, this ring is better than the Signet of Dancing Jade because it gives us just free damage with the auto attack damage thing, and then it also gives us more haste than crit. But it's like such a slight upgrade, I think, that I would, I'm pretty sure I would rather just take a socket because, like, yeah, people are going to hate to see me pass up on this, this ring, but I don't play Windwalker or Brewmaster anymore on this character, so I'm just going to take the, the socket. And we will sock it, uh, probably our flaring cowl, or this other ring. Um, yeah, I think for now we'll just socket the other ring that we have because I'm not going to replace this. So we will socket this. There we go. I don't think I have any sockets at the moment, so I'll do that later. And that's it for the vault video. So thank you guys for watching. I will do my best to uh, hopefully not randomly get sick a second time in a row. That would be really awful. Um, and I should be uploading videos starting tomorrow on Wednesday. So keep an eye out for those. I'll probably be doing a lot of healing out loud based stuff and just talking about builds that are being used a lot right now. Now that we're in like 10.0.5 and going into 10.0.7, just talking about like the various builds that people are starting to run compared to what we were running in the beginning of the season or like what my Mythic Plus guides covered and stuff like that so keep an eye out for those thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys later